we moved in our house. We lived there probably about five years before we even had kids. And I remember hearing, even prior to having children, um, just in various, just various people mentioning, oh, but you know, when you have kids, and when you live in Pasadena, you know, you can't, can't. The public schools are not good, so you got to go private, or you got to figure out something else, or you got to move um, once your kids are school age. And so I kind of had that in my mind, even many years before I had children, and. Um, didn't think as much of it until I actually had children and I started hearing it again especially when people were asking me when they were infants well where are they gonna go to school and I really think my first reaction like this is crazy like why should I be thinking or planning where they go to school and then I started thinking well if our schools are bad why isn't anybody doing anything about it I mean we live in Pasadena it's one of the most vibrant cities around um, with so much to offer like why would we not have good schools and so when the twins started to get about I think about three and they were in preschool and I, I kept hearing it more and more in preschool and also feeling just a bit of a, a stress about well should I be you know applying to private schools or what are we what are we gonna do and very randomly I was in I believe Trader Joe's and I was kind of eavesdropping on a conversation that two people were having in front of me about they mentioned uh, an organization called the Pasadena Education Network, and they were just talking about parents who are, um, all I really heard was that there's parents that are that are sending their kids to public school and they're really making a difference in the public schools. And I, I kind of kept the name in my head, got home, immediately Googled it, got on the website, and that changed everything for me. I found a community of local families that care about our public schools, a community that cares not only for the education of their child, but the education of all the children in our community. And um, the parents that founded this organization apparently heard the same things that I heard uh, several years before my kids were ready to start kindergarten. And instead of just believing it, they decided to visit their local schools. And then they found that actually the schools are great. There's many, many great schools. Um, and it's just this old myth that's been passed down and passed down, and it's just really outdated. And so then I started to tour schools. I think I toured at least seven or eight PUSD elementary schools, visited my neighborhood school, which is a school we would just go to by default based on our address. I was happy with that school. And I decided um, then and there that we were gonna go public. Um, it just felt like a good fit for our family. Um, it felt better to me than putting my twins through interviews and um, trying to get accepted into other places and and I also wanted to be a part of the families in this community that are making a difference in our public schools and um, and I just feel so fortunate that that stress was lifted off of my family and um, my children are thriving um, and trust me, I do the math of what we would be spending annually if all three of my children were even in the least expensive private school. So I'm just very grateful. And, and, and I find myself often um, spreading the word about um, people checking out our public schools and being comfortable going there.